Did you know that we signed the Paris Agreement? As a signatory to the Paris Agreement, Malaysia intends to reduce the intensity of greenhouse gas GHG emissions across the economy by 45% based on GDP in 2030 compared to 2005 level as its nationally determined contributions NDC. Malaysia have committed to reaching net zero emissions by 2050. Have a look at their N character in Madani representing the progress of the nation's quality of life in a balanced mold between humans and nature, nuances Malaysia's unique image. So, what is net zero emissions? Why must Malaysia commit it? Shaping futures. Key global initiatives that focus on sustainability and climate change. Stick around and watch our video through to the end to get the full scoop on what it's all about. If you have not yet watched the Sustainable Development Goal video, please click the link in below. In 2015, the world embraced 17 Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, to tackle global challenges. That same year, the Paris Agreement was signed, aiming to cap global warming at well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels and ideally limit it to 1.5 degrees Celsius. This landmark deal was endorsed by countries under the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change UNFCCC. What is the relationship between 17 Sustainable Development Goals SDGs and Paris Agreement? The Paris Agreement and the 17 Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, are both pivotal frameworks in the global effort to address climate change and promote sustainable development. Here's how they interconnect. Number 1. Shared Objectives Paris Agreement focuses on limiting global warming to well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, with efforts to limit it to 1.5 degrees Celsius. It emphasizes reducing greenhouse gas emissions and enhancing climate resilience. SDGs cover a broad spectrum of global challenges, including poverty, inequality, and climate action, with Goal 13 specifically targeting climate action. The SDGs aim to achieve a more sustainable and equitable world by 2030. Number 2. Climate Action SDG 13 the Paris Agreement directly supports SDG 13, which calls for urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts. Achieving the targets of the Paris Agreement is crucial for the success of SDG 13. Number 3. Integration into Broader Goals Environmental Goals, the Paris Agreement complements several other SDGs related to the environment including Goal 14, Life Below Water, and Goal 15, Life on Land. For instance, efforts to combat climate change, Paris Agreement, help protect marine and terrestrial ecosystems. Number 3 Integration into Broader Goals Economic and Social Goals The Paris Agreement's focus on a just transition and enhancing resilience supports SDGs related to Economic Growth Goal 8. Reducing Inequalities Goal 10 and Sustainable Cities Goal 11. Number 4. Synergistic Effects Achieving the Paris Agreement's climate targets will contribute to the overall success of many SDGs. For example, addressing climate change can improve health outcomes SDG 3, by reducing pollution, enhance food security SDG 2, through better management of natural resources, and promote sustainable livelihoods, SDG 1, by fostering climate-resilient economies. In a conclusion, here is the Paris Agreement Overview, a landmark international accord aimed at addressing climate change, adopted on December 12, 2015, at the 21st Conference of the Paris COP to 1 to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change UNFCCC held in Paris, France. The agreement entered into force on November 4, 2016 with the following key elements. Number 1. Mitigation, countries agreed to limit global temperature increase well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, with efforts to limit the increase to 1.5 degrees Celsius. Each participating country submitted a nationally determined contribution NDC, outlining its climate action plan and commitments to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Number 2. Adaption. Recognizing the need to address the impacts of climate change, 
the agreement emphasizes the importance of enhancing adaptive capacity, strengthening resilience, and reducing vulnerability. Number 3. Finance, developed countries committed to providing financial support to developing countries to assist them in both mitigation and adaption efforts. The goal is to mobilize $100 billion annually by 2020 and to increase financial flows beyond that. Number 4. Technology Transfer. The agreement promotes the development and transfer of environmentally sound technologies to developing countries to support their efforts in addressing climate change, strengthening resilience, and reducing vulnerability. Number 5. Transparency and Accountability. The Paris Agreement includes mechanisms for countries to regularly report on their emissions and progress toward their NDCs, promoting transparency and accountability. Let's zoom out and get a clearer picture. In 2015, the world embraced 17 Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, to tackle global challenges. That same year, the Paris Agreement was signed, aiming to cap global warming at well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels and ideally limit it to 1.5 degrees Celsius. This landmark deal was endorsed by countries under the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change UNFCCC. Fast forward to 2018, when the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC, released a crucial report. It shed light on the stark contrasts in impacts between a 1.5 degrees Celsius and a 2 degrees Celsius temperature increase, underscoring the urgent need for action. By 2020, the IPCC's 1.5 degrees Celsius report indicated that achieving net zero greenhouse gas GHG, emissions by around 2050 was essential to stay within the 1.5 degrees Celsius limit. To stay on track, global GHG emissions need to be slashed by about 45% from 2010 levels by 2030, according to the United Nations Environment Programme's UNEP Emissions Gap Report. Looking ahead, the journey to net zero requires a global commitment to drastically cut emissions. The Paris Agreement calls for updates every five years, with critical milestones in 2020, 2025, 2030, and finally 2050, to keep global warming within the 1.5 degrees Celsius target. Overview of Net Zero 2050 The idea of achieving net zero emissions is all about striking a balance. It means matching the greenhouse gases we release with the amount we take out or offset, so that the total level of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere stays unchanged. While the Paris Agreement doesn't use the exact term, net zero, it sets a powerful vision to keep global temperature rise well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, with a determined push to cap the increase at 1.5 degrees Celsius. The net zero concept has emerged as a key driver in our global battle against climate change, playing a vital role in steering us toward a more sustainable and resilient future. It's a collaborative goal, not the achievement of any single person or organization. Under the Paris Agreement, many countries, including Malaysia, have committed to reaching net zero emissions by 2050, with the goal of limiting the temperature increase. I understand the history and the historical carbon dioxide emissions data relating to climate change due to human activities. After seeing the scientific evidence, the current planet condition is not as desired, and I need to act and heal the planet. I aspire to reverse the harm done to planet Earth and keep the global temperature less than to Celsius above pre-industrial levels. I know the UN 17 SG Dis and Paris Agreement Net Zero. I am fully aware of the business and social risks associated with climate change, but what should I do next? I want to create a better world for my next generation and generations to come. Yes. Agreed to create a better world for our next generation. Please click the link in below to watch the 20 practical actions to combat climate change. In the upcoming episodes, we will explain what is sustainability and ESG. Please stay tuned to our channel. If you like my video, please click the subscribe and like button.